Report Master Silver. I've detected the aura of the trial gate nearby. If you can pinpoint the origin of this aura using dowsing, I can I can conjecture the song you learned at the Isle of Songs, Pharaoh's Courage, to reveal the gate. I gotta do it. That was weird. He's a blue one. Um. I still have to figure out how to get this chest right here. Maybe from here? Yeah, I can't jump that. I wonder if I stand from over there? Maybe? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. Hmm. I don't think you can reach that far. Definitely not. Can't run up there. How did I get that box? I'll probably have to look it up later. Hmm. Alright, anyways. Somewhere this way? Oh god, don't attack me! There's a thingy here. There is something reacting to a performance of Pharaoh's courage. I have com confirmed to the appearance of the strange mark on the ground. Calculate a 90% probability that this mark is a trial gate, as mentioned by the goddess statue we heard from the Isle Goddess. Trust your sword in the center of the mark. Or thrust your sword in the center of the mark on the ground before you. Okay. Huh. Oh god, where are we going? <laughs> oh! oh! My gosh. Master 
Mr. Silver. As expected, I cannot follow you into this realm, for the trial calls out to your mind alone. This is the nature of places known as the Silent Realms. They are domains of spirit, accessible to only, only to the goddess chosen hero. This particular trial of Pharaoh's Silent Realm tests the limits of your courage. Your spirit has temporarily separated from your physical body so that you may undertake this challenge. To reach the location of the flames that will enhance your sword, it is necessary for you to overcome this trial and undergo spiritual growth. Spear vessel, this mysterious plan represents your spirit, Silver. That is your spirit vessel. When this vessel is full, it will signify you have successfully completed the trial, allowing your spirit to glow, grow. This in turn will allow the goddess to bless you with a new power. To fill the spirit vessel, you need to search for something known as Tear of Pharaoh. There are many of these spread across the strange world. Master, do you see the glowing object just in front of you? That is a tear of Pharaoh. You need to collect 15 of them. However, this is not a simple task as it would seem. Your work in this realm is referred to as a trial for a good reason. If you take even a single step outside the protective circle you stand in, the guardians of this realm will wake up and pursue you, Master. If a guardian manages to land even a single hit on you, your spirit will shatter and you will fail, fail a trial. You must collect the tears scattered throughout the area and fill the spirit vessel without being hit with an attack. Is my explanation clear, Master? Do you want me to explain it again? I got it. Understood, Master. I will, eagerly await, I will be eagerly awaiting your return in the outside world. May the goddess watch over you, Master. Oh god. Also, the movements of the Guardians for just 90 seconds. Collect all 15 to pass the trial. Okay. Light of Fruit. So, this serious fruit enables you to see beacons over the positions of. Oh. <gasps> oh! God. I just had like a little timer. Oh wait, I see it. So, I'm covering the flower. <laughs> it works. Master Silver. This unusual liquid substance that covers the area is known as waking water. It, it has a certain unique properties. If you make contact with waking water, the guardians will be immediately alerted to your presence. Pools of waking water are located all throughout the area. I suggest you watch where you step. There is one over here, wasn't there? Nice. We avoided it. They're cool looking. See one just ahead? Uh, got a dust relic. Oh, amber rope. Okay, let's get this one right here. Oh god, yeah, let's not fall here. Okay. 
just walk back, because I don't want to take any risks. Oh god, okay. Ugh. one down here. <gasps> oh, okay. Cool. Oh dear. Okay. Three more. Okay, there's one over there. Here's one. last one. doing so well. It has to be up there, I guess. Proceed with caution. <laughs> that was scary. Dragon scale. Sacred gift was left by the goddess. By the goddess grants you the power to explore underwater. Even execute a spin maneuver. Okay. <laughs> oh. Congratulations, Master Silver. You have passed this trial. You now have the power to proceed the location of the first sacred of the first sacred flame that will enhance your sword. The water dragon scale is one of the goddess sacred's gifts. The great spirit of the water dragons provided you with the ability to swim freely underwater. 
You flame, the flame you seek is somewhere within these woods. Master, I must conclude that this flame is likely in a part of the area that you have not explored. Hi. Shoot. Uh, hello again. I see you have the water dragon scale there, Q. That's amazing. I heard that if you have one, Q, you can swim through the water like a dragon soars through the sky. There must be places here in the woods that you haven't visited yet, Q. You should use the water's dragon scale to explore areas you couldn't be, you couldn't even get to before, Q. <laughs> well, thank you. Good to see you again. Um, I I know a place. Here. Ah. Can't get me underwater. You oh my gosh, you went through the water. <laughs> that was a little scary. Okay. I spoke too soon. <laughs> okay. Oh, is this an air bubble? <gasps> yes. Oh, what is that? I don't know if I can do anything. my breath a long time. I can't do that in real life. Oh wow. Okay. Inside the great tree. I want one of them to blow up, though. Do one of you want to, like... Here we go. Dang it. Died. Okay. I think I was right about the swinging, though. <gasps> oh, Jesus! I didn't realize he was that close. <laughs> How? Maybe I should kill those things. Well, I got five. <laughs> okay, now we only have to deal with one. There's a blue bird. Sorry. <gasps> yes. All right. Oh God! I'm just just kidding. <laughs> can I can I blow him off? Get off of there. I 
any more of you, are there? Because I'm looking. Oh. Oh god. <laughs> Decker Hornets. Uh, just. There we go. <laughs> That's fun. What is that noise? It's not the spider. Oh, I can jump down. I can jump down here and get that. I'll do that after I get this. So. Oh, hold on. There's another spider. What is this thing that I'm hearing? See you. Leave me alone. Oh god. It's getting. What is this noise? <laughs> oh my god. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> what is that thing? Uh... What are you gonna do? Oh, I can I can break a shield easily. Oh my god. Oh god. Ugh! Oh no! I fell all the way down. Oh. Okay, it takes me back. How do I fight this thing? Uh, where's my shield? Am I doing any damage? I have no idea. Oh, he's gonna swing again. Oh my god! I got him! Ow! <laughs> Jesus! Well, there goes that hunter. <laughs> he started charging at me. That was scary. I will save. Um, here I guess? Okay. Oh, oh god. Oh. Jesus. Whatever this 
thing I'm hearing is? It sounds upset. <laughs> Take this heart potion. Uh, taking some hits. Oh, did I find it? You have reached the top of the tree. From this vantage point, you have a good view of the woods. Perhaps you will see an area you haven't explored. Master, look up there. Confirm the discovery of a new kiwi. Kiwi. Analysis indicates a 90% chance that the sounds may have been hearing were the loud snores of the kiwi. So what should I do? I guess I should wake him up. Kikwi! Who's? I'm napping. Oh, look at that. A real live human. I haven't seen one of you in a while, Quirk. You used to call me Yerbal. Now I'm just the old Kiwi hermit. I watch over this forest here when I'm not napping. I don't know how you wandered all the way up here, but let me ask you something. Can you really see me? Is that so? Well, then slap yourself on the back, Quirk. You know, some Kiwis can't even see me these days. Forget all that nonsense and tell me, Quirk. What business does a real, real life human have in these woods? The flame? You got questing for a flame to enhance your sword, Quirk. So that's how you, so that you can find someone important to you, eh? How about that? A human who can see me and seeks a great flame, Quirk. Listen, you don't promise you, you do promise not to breathe a word of what I'm about to tell you tell you to another soul. I'm serious, Quirk. I promise. All right, I'll tell you. But remember, it's a secret to everybody. The flame that you seek, it's most likely Pharaoh's flame. Yes, yes, Pharaoh's flame. That story begins long ago when the goddess was still with us, Quirk. Goddess gave the flame to the water dragon, a great spirit that presides over the Pharaoh woods. The way I hear it is she left the flame in care of the water dragon so that one day, a fire dragon could pass it on from one of the, from one of the sky. You see, Quirk, I got a hunch about the goddess, about, about that go that the goddess was talking about you, lad. Well, that settles that. You must seek out the mighty the mighty water dragon. Oh, her lair is deep in that in a lake in the south of these woods, Quirk. She walks she watches over the flame there. There's a problem though. The gate that leads to that lake is sealed shut to all those judged unworthy. Don't worry, Quirk. I'll let you in on a trick to opening the gate. To open the gate, you have to channel the power of the goddess into the symbol carved into onto the into into its doors, Quirk. Oh, but it isn't so simple. The symbol is incomplete. To unlock the gate, you must make the symbol whole. The only way you know you'll know how to you know what the incomplete symbol should look like is to first find that same completed symbol somewhere else in this these woods. The gate is down south, so it's likely that there's a matching symbol up somewhere up north. Try searching near this. X, Quirk. This X. Oh, all the way over here. So all this seeping into your head, lad. Do you know where you must go to find the symbol you seek? And I wish you safe travels, lad. Oh, wait up! I forgot to mention this earlier, but it's important. Her Excellence, the Daughter Dragon, is very, very persnicky about manners, so watch yours. I heard stories of folks who, who got, who caught up, caught her in a fussy mood. They ended up as mid-morning morning snacks. Quirk. Probably tastes like old cave moss, but I'm not in a hurry to become a royal meal. Quirk. So don't let her know that I told you about Pharaoh's flame, okay? And remember, when you're in your hall, you better be on your best behavior. <laughs> Sorry. I'll be here napping if you need some of my elderly wisdom. See you around, Quirk. Okay.
down. One, two. Oops. Where should I? Is this safe? Oh. No! I missed it! God dang it! I was so close. I guess I'll get this one. Uh, if only I could get back up. Now I'm gonna try to get those other boxes and try my best not to miss <laughs> falling down there. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what's best place to to land here. Okay. <gasps> I did it! Yes! I finally got it. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, there's a hook shot. Isn't there another one somewhere? I can't remember. Is that up here? Oh, I don't see anything. Okay. Um. So we need to go that way. Good, right here. <laughs> those. Is this complete? Oh, do I... What do I do exactly? My sword is glowing right here. Oh, here we go. I had to stand on it. I estimate eighty percent probability that this is a symbol of the one hermit was a, the hermit was describing. I recommend you memorize this shape. Okay, two moons and then a circle. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I have to remember or remember it, but I will try.
Is this the bridge? I need to go there. I thought I could cut through here, but I guess not. Okay. Area. Yeah, it's this way. My goodness, they're chasing me down. I don't know how to do it. Get out of here. Oh god! Oh, they're more green. Oh, dang it. Okay. Um. Master Maya, calculations indicate there's an 80% probability that the sacred flame lies beyond the scape. I also deduce that the power of the goddess the Kiwi Hermit referred to is in fact the Skyward Strife. Charge your sword by standing in front of the gate and use its energy to draw the missing portion of the symbol. Okay. So I need to draw the circle. Oh god. That is the ugliest circle that I've ever seen. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> right, let's take a look. I guess I jumped down. <laughs> like Floria. water. <laughs> okay, let's go in here. Okay, okay, I just have to avoid eye contact and back away slowly. I'm following you. Quit following me, pest! If you don't move along, I'll be forced to tell her excellence the water dragon about your little incursion. Didn't see that coming, did you? Yep, there's no way you're gonna be able to follow me now. So what? So what now? Are you gonna cry? If you think you can make it through, just go ahead and try. Yep, nothing short of a mighty spin move will get you through here. And you obviously can't do that. How do I do that? Wait, oh! do that uh oh 
like that. Oh, okay. I'm like, how do I share that? Gah, how's that even possible? Never seen a human pull off a spin like that. Wait, that's a water dragon skill. Does that make you the emissary, emissary of the goddess like the water dragon said? Hey, I got an idea. Maybe we can help her excellence. What's wrong? Yeah, about that. Happened really recently. This weirdo came in here with a gang of monsters and went right after her excellence. My lady, the water dragon, is a fierce fighter. And boy, did she gobble up the fir most of those monsters in the first few seconds. Thing is, there was just so many of them. While she was distracted, the weirdo leading all the creatures managed to wound her. She's healing up now, but she says she doesn't have enough special water for her to make a full recovery. So, could you please go talk to her with her excellence and see if you can help her out? I'll even take you take you to her. Follow me. Okay. Uh... Huh? That's weird. I was expecting to meet up with my friend here, and the path is blocked with a bo huge boulder. Lovely. Now what do we do? We save. <laughs> okay. Oh god. I wonder if I can... Let's see. Oh god. Nice! Oh, hello. Talk? Eep! Don't eat me! Your excellence? Me? The water dragon? No. Are you looking for her excellence? You possess one of her scales, so you must be a friend of our kind. I'll tell you wherever you can find her. The water dragon lives just a little way up, ways up from her. From here, if you want to make a note of that, that's probably a good time to do it. It's a secret to everybody. Oh god. <laughs> That's fun to do. Oh, is this the boulder? <laughs> Give me these rupees. I need 500. Ouch. Okay. I need, I guess, to hit this floor. How do I do that? Okay. Oh, now that's using your noodle. Her excellence is just up ahead, over this way. <laughs> come on, come on, hurry up. Huh? You can't get through. Sheesh, you have human bodies in your bones. Talk about inconvenient. I guess I can- I guess you can leap over the top of this wall if you have to. How do I do that? Hello. Say, Mr. Human Person, do you know how to spin jump? Spin toward the water surface. You can do an amazing leap right out of the water. Oh. Well, I will do that. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> wow, 
wow, perfect jump. I call you amazing, but I think we both know that we both know it was the water dragon scale that made that little stunt possible. Can I, can I go through this? No, I can't. Oh, I guess I can do the thing again. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that wasn't a good start. There we go. Um, see. Oh god. I hate you. Oh my god. Stop it. Okay, cool. I gotta do another spin jump thing. No, I missed! I did it too far! I did it too far away. Dang it! Did it. Oh god, what is that? <laughs> Yikes! Oh, they're back. That's one of the fish that we were brought in here and used to attack our excellence. Watch out, they're mean as they come. Oh my god, dude. Wow, the goddess sure knows how to pick them. You did great. Okay, now what? At last, we're here. Excellence, the water dragon is just up ahead. Hang on just a second. Oh, he's like a key. Oh my god, that's like a heavy freaking door. Please, come in. 
feel like that would hurt. If I had to twist my head in there. Excellence is just a bed. Please go ahead and seek her. Go on, talk with the water jacket. Okay, well, I'm going. <laughs> ah, you there, human. You have intruded into my home, a sacred place you are permitted to enter. This is no place for one such as you, and yet you stand here. You'll explain how you got here, and quickly. From a water dragon? I am. Those with manners address me as Pharon. War Warden of the Woods, I was appointed by the goddess herself. Though my current stature is less than, well, intimidating, shall we say, know that you stand in the presence of a loyal servant of the goddess. Mm hmm? I say... That's one of my skills you have there. A sacred gift such as that could only be carried by the god as this chosen hero. Could you really be him? This raises questions. Even with that scale in your position, finding my howl is no easy task. How did you find me? <laughs> ah, yes. That cackling old hermit, Kikui, told you where I lived, didn't he? Honestly, I, cannot, I can't remember how many times I told that scruffy thing to keep his mouth shut. That's the last straw. Next time I see him, he's dinner. Oh, but I digress. You've come here seeking a sacred flame, have you? Of course. I knew it. But I'll be straight with you. A shrimpy, a shrimpy boy like you hardly looks the part of the goddess's chosen hero. There's no doubt about it. A test in order to prove you're everything you are, say you are. Shortly before your arrival, I was attacked by a pompous creature called, calling himself, uh, Gerahim. I forgot to pronounce it. <laughs> I stood against this self-proclaimed demon lord, but I was wounded in an in encounter. The wounds he's given me are stubborn things. I have been forced to recuperate in this basin of sacred water. Fortunately, the healing properties of the sacred water have diminished, and I am now in need of another dose to freshen up my healing bath. Bring me the container of fresh sacred water that I require. Do me this favor, and I will gladly show you where to find the sacred flame you desire. What do you say? Got it. I'm analyzing the water's remaining basin. Excellent. I can now help you douse for water for the water type you are searching for. Master, you have wisely elected to carry an empty bottle. Use it to carry the water you seek. In there. If you continue down this way, you will find an exit back to the woods. Excellent. Now run along. One does not need to keep a dragon waiting. Okay. Cool. Uh. There you go. I wonder where this is going to take me. <laughs> what am I looking at right now? Oh, back this way. Let's go get our water. That'll be a good place to round off. Where am I? Master, I have information to report. By my estimates, you are currently situated in the southwest area of the Faram Woods. Please confirm the location with your map. Oh. Hey, look at that. Oh god. Okay. Okay. 
way, so it's straight across, so I should probably go around. He didn't notice me. I was never there. Oh, look at that. Blown this up yet, have I? <gasps> oh my god, there's a freaking piece of heart in here. <laughs> You're crazy. Yes. Get another heart. Oh, shoot. Oh, I forgot to put my care book. <laughs> like forever ago. <laughs> there we go. Um... Where am I going? Do I need to go to the temple? Oh god. Ah! I tried to freaking swim, but it takes so long. Well, we're definitely going to the temple. Oh, do I have to get it from the... Um... Dang it. Oh, wait! Right here. Here we go. Ah! Stop it! Oh, God. Where's my sword? Oh my god! Get out of here! Jesus. Alright. Ah! I'm dying. My readings indicate the presence of the sacred water within the temple. Fortunately, it's not impossible it's not possible to use your dowsing ability here. Based on my calculations, I estimate the water is located in the deepest part of the temple complex. I recommend using the X on your map as a guide when visit revisiting the deepest area of the temple. Detecting a greater enemy and presence in the vicinity than I have previously observed, you would be wise to proceed with caution. Okay. Oh god. Forgot about these. Oh my god. There he goes. Oh, what the heck? Hold it, you're that guy. That guy I met in the volcano. Here to do some treasure hunting too? Yep. I called it. You got treasure hunter written all over your face. 
Did the big stone guy out there tip you off to the loot? Stone guy. Yeah. What do you say again? Strum a chord most beautiful in the place within within the temple where the butterfly stands. So I get here and I lose with some of those most gorgeous hummings I've ever done. I lose, I get I let loose with some of the most gorgeous hummings I ever done in my entire life, and nothing happens. But seeing how I've come this far, there's no chance I'm gonna give up, give up the hunt for the treasure just yet. <gasps> oh no! I accidentally killed them. Whoops. I mean, I guess maybe I can still do it. I doubt it. What in the world? Ah. Well, there, buddy. I bet you think you're gonna, you're going to run ahead and swipe all the treasure, bet all the best treasure for yourself. But I say you're setting yourself up for big disappointment. Just because some weird design popped up on the wall doesn't mean you're any closer to finding treasure. All right. <laughs> I think you've been, you've been had by that boulder with legs. <laughs> Stay here if you want. I'm going on ahead. What'd I do? Yes. Oh. Uh, that was awful. Ah! Rupees. Yes. Excuse me. Just fantastic. I work like a weasel just to swipe just to swipe a key from that monster and then I have to go and lose it. Just can't remember which hole I hit it in. Ah, uh, and here I thought that key would be the ticket to a life of luxury. Could have sworn I buried it right around here. Stop it! Okay. It's right around here. See anything here? Oops. This? <laughs> I remember this from earlier. That's funny. I'm speed running a dungeon right now. Ah! Oh my god. Excuse me! <laughs> Ow! Oh god! Can I- Oh god? Okay, I got it. Oh god, that was terrible. Oh my gosh! Be yeah, careful. Oh god. No way! If I just spam it, it's fine. My goodness. Hey, <laughs> hell up. Oh, 
Sure, let's save. <laughs> uh, here. Okay. Dang, bring me up. Cool. Do I need the no, I don't. Am I do I need a new key? <laughs> I was sure. I dig some serious miles to get my paws and treasure, and I found squat. And I found squat. Talk about bad luck. I think there's some new, no good thief beat me to the goods. There's nothing but water now. Who in the stinking world would come all this way for water? Nobody. That's who. I'm cutting my losses and heading home. See ya. <laughs> yes, please. Hill up. Bombs. Okay. No, do it sideways. Oh 
I got him. Oh. My goodness. All right, let's get the sacred water. I detect sacred water nearby. There are no monster or is com causing interference, so you can douse here. Just any of this water? There's a 95% probability that the water here is identical to the water within the water dragon's basin. I suggest we take it back to her. Cool. Glittering spores cause something to happen when they're thrown on bugs or monsters. They can be collected from sparkly mushrooms. Alright. Oh god. Oh god. Of course. Excuse me. Oh my god. Uh-oh. I'm out of there. <laughs> okay. Let's give her this water. How do I get there? Oh god. Excuse me. Okay. Woo! Oh. We have your water. Just look at that color. There's no doubt that this is the water I need. Quickly, boy, pour it into my basin. Oh. 
Exquisite, I can feel its energy surging through me. Behold, the full majesty of Pharaon, water dragon, and guardian of these lands. I shall tall headed and wool and whole. I, sh I stand tall headed and whole once again. Human, you have done well to bring me the sacred water I have asked for you. I see now it is no coincidence that you completed the goddess's trial and obtained a water dragon's skill. In turn, I will grant you the favor you have asked of me and lead you to the sacred flame of my land. Come. Now behold. The sacred flame you seek lies within this place. While the waterfall has prepared the entrance to this place for many years, monsters still found a way in, and inside they flourish. Uh, but you are the goddess's chosen one, hero. Swatting a few monsters will be no trouble for you. I imagine you and I will cross paths again. Until then, do not lower your guard. Farewell, boy. This is a good place to see. Nice. Oh, we did it! And next, we'll go in that place and search for the... Oh wait, I gotta quit. <laughs> Forgot. Next, I will search through that place. Yes. <laughs> My ears. Alright! Oh my gosh! I just hit the three hour mark. This one. I like doing the little spirit challenge thing. What is it called? I forgot already. The little trial thing. That was fun. <laughs> and um, I guess we'll go in there and we'll get the flame and enhance my sword somehow. I guess. <laughs> we'll see how that goes next time. I guess it, I'm guessing it's gonna be like another a dungeon or something. If that makes sense. But uh, then that'll be it for uh, now. So, um, start off next with uh, getting the flame, and then we'll go from there, I guess, pretty much. Um, that'll be it for it. Yeah, so, have a good night. Bye.